Hey guys, Colin Stucker here, founder, CEO, Wild Foods Co. Today I want to talk to you about the wild mission, why we do what we do, what fuels me every day, what fuels us at Wild Foods every day. Okay? Our wild mission is to help 5 million people live a better life through ancestral health principles. And the number one way that humans interact with their environment is food. So that's why we spend a lot of time with food. That's where wild food is focused on sourcing the highest quality small batch ingredients from small producers around the world. We're trying to find ingredients that you can feel confident about putting in your body. That's going to optimize your gene expression, make you feel better, and be within the confines of a healthy and holistic lifestyle. That's why we do what we do every single day. That's why we're talking about how to get you and your genes back into the wild, closer to nature as possible, okay? Because humans, we were born in the wild. This is, this is where our genes were developed over hundreds of thousands of years of evolution. Yet today, we're born into artificial environments. And that's where we get the mismatch principle, which basically states that we are designed for the wild, but we live in this new environment. And the reason the mass of humans are not doing well is because they are literally devolving to their new environment. So Darwin said, the species that best adapts to its environment is going to have the best chances of procreating, surviving, passing on genes, etc. Right? If you look at modern humans, the bulk of them are not surviving because they're not adapting to their environment. All right? Processed food, sitting inside all day, working long jobs, stressed about things, chronic stress, uh, weird social dynamics, so social media and like feelings of isolationism and all these things. Like all these principles are a result of our new environment and they all exert pressures on our genes. They basically turn bad genes on and turn good genes off. Whereas when we go outside, when we're walking, we're eating real food, when we're fasting, we're doing these things that mother nature intended us to do that are basically our ancestors did, we thrive. And that's why we literally see a divergence of modern humans, right? You have the large percent of humans living in affluent societies like the United States that are devolving. They are not winning the evolutionary struggle, right? Then you have another subset of humans that are thriving. They're literally using technology to eat better, live better, have more kids, have more prosperity. And as a result, their genes are going to be passed along and have a better chance of being passed along in the future as well, okay? So there's a lot to take in with this, right? The general thesis, though, is that when you are doing things that our an your ancestors would not have done before in the wild to survive, they would have had to do, right? Then you are going to be turning on the bad genes. You're going to be basically devolving. You're going to be expressing unhealthy behaviors in your person, all right? And so that's why, you know, obviously exercise is good, right? Because our, our, our ancestors had to move every single day. They usually walk 13 to 15 hours, or excuse me, 13 to 15 miles a day in search of food. They had to hunt, they had to forage, whatever. They came across the kill, they would scavenge, they would, eat, they would eat as much as they can, right? They would go long periods of time without food, without a successful hunt, without finding berries, twigs, leaves, whatever. And that's why intermittent fasting is so beneficial, okay? Also, in the wild, there's, a, there's not a, la a large amount of carbohydrates, especially sugars, and especially very calorie-dense, high glycemic carbs that you find in like grains, right? You don't find those in nature. You, like, we weren't farmers. We would have to walk around. If we got lucky and found a sweet potato or a yam, we'd eat that, right? But that was not an, a daily occurrence. So don't be fooled by anyone telling you that you have to go high carb for your performance or feeling or whatever. Like, in general, the reason that the keto diet is so popular right now is because it very closely mimics how our ancestors would have eaten. We would have had a lot of access to fat and protein, and we would have snacked on, on greens and, and low-carb, low-calorie foods th the rest of the time, all right? So food is the number one way that humans interact with their environment, which is why we put so much of a focus on it, all right? That's why Wild Foods does what it ever, does every day. We try to get the best ingredients and supplements in the world, and we bring those to the people that believe the things we believe, that believe that humans are devolving and that we need to take matters into our own hands to make sure that we can evolve and that our genes get passed along. Here's a really startling statistic, okay? Our children's generation, and I have a son coming into the world in about four weeks right now, his generation is expected to live shorter lives than my generation. Come on. Like, I, when I say that, I get goosebumps, not of excitement, but of fear because how serious this is, okay? And so that's why we do what we do every day. That's why my wild mission is to help five million people because I wanna wake them up to all of this. I, I wanna show them how they've been lied to by the media, the government, by you know the typical fad diet blogger, or by the New York Times bestselling weight loss diet book, right? There is so much BS out there and all of that BS profits from confusing you, okay? So 
please, if you need anything from us, you reach out to us, you reach out to me, info at wildfoods.co, follow us on Instagram at wildfoodsco, at Colin Stuckert. Also, make sure you get your Drink Your Fat uh, free ebook, which is about our Drink Your Fat system, which for what I found, the reason that I'm spending so much time on it is we found it's the number one way to kind of kickstart this new wild lifestyle. We get you drinking a fat in the morning. We get you skipping breakfast, especially, you know, bagels, cereal, and all that crap. You don't eat that anymore. You get some intermittent fasting in. You get some premium fuel from the fatty acids, and you do some cool things with ketones, like like uh, with co- between coffee and MCT, and there's a lot to it. Get the Drink Your Fat ebook at drinkfat.co. Free download. Just pop in your email, and you'll get it. And then, again, if you have any questions, let me know. We're here to help. Join us on this mission, guys. We need to take our gene, our biology into our own hands, okay? We, you, you pretty much have to decide. Are you gonna evolve or are you gonna devolve? Because if you wanna be like everybody else, which I hear that all the time, people say, oh, grains are, everyone eats grains, everyone lives on grains, or, or sugars and everything. Wow. Well, if that's fine, right? <laughs> if you wanna be like everyone else, then you're gonna get heart disease, cancer, obesity, you're gonna have uh, BMI index like double, you're gonna have body fat percentages that are double what we should. You're going to devolve. And if you decide that that's what everyone does, so that's what you want to do, then that's fine, I guess. You have, that, you have that option as a human. And so, you know, maybe ignore everything I just said. But if that is not what you believe, if that's not what you want for yourself and your family, then come over and join us, okay? Get working on yourself. Get working on your food. Get outside. Get exercise. Do all these things. And then help somebody else, okay? Because it's all about paying it forward. We have to help each other, guys. What we're seeing as we venture out into the solar system and we see the, the, the vast amount of space and how it's basically us, we are just one species on the planet. And we all, all we have is each other. We're all together in this, okay? So unfortunately, we're not gonna reach everybody, but we can reach a lot of people. I really believe that. And you can help us do that, but it starts with yourself. Help yourself, help your friends, help your family. Go clean out your pantry. Stop eating grains, stop eating sugar. Eat more quality fat. Read the ingredient list, guys. Find out who, where you're buying from. Get to know a local farmer. There is a lot of things here, and small steps every day can really change your life. And so that's what we're doing. And again, let me know if I can help.